Today, a victory celebration on Halifax Mall for a new law named after a Moore County toddler who died last year. Rylan Ott drowned just weeks after returning from foster care to his mother's care. CBS North Carolina's Beer Shell Edme, she walks us through the emotional journey to pass Rylan's law. Lawmakers here, as well as those who work in the foster care system, say today's event really is a success. But they also point to the fact that Ryland's law, they really wish that it didn't have to happen this way and that it wasn't a tragedy that brought about this law. But now that it is here, they hope that it does prevent any other incidents from happening across North Carolina. In a divided, tense capital, it's Rylan Ott who brought together a majority of lawmakers for one law that will protect little boys and girls like him. It's very important to me. It means a lot to me. Titiana Goings was a foster care child, too. She believes this law can have a major impact. Officials never supervised Rylan and his mom, Samantha Bryant, together before placing him back in her care. Now, Rylan's law requires social services holds at least two supervised visits before reuniting a family. When it comes to bringing that child back home, what do you think they need to have before they take that child back in? First of all, um, I think they need to have that fear of like when they came in and took the child the first time. That should be their motivation. For former foster care child Kyle Reese, he thinks a law like this starts the process towards a stronger foster care system. Although, you know, I definitely uh, knew that nothing horrible would happen, it would still be very kind of dramatic, I think, if I were forced to go back home uh, without, you know, proper supervision, making sure I was ready to. Now advocate both Reese and Goings say focusing this law on children and their needs is what really makes this a win for hundreds of North Carolina's children. In Raleigh, Beershall Edmay, CBS North Carolina.